Hello, everybody. My name is Jen Campbell. I am an independent consultant with Paparazzi Accessories. My consultant ID number is 237631. And today I wanted to create a YouTube video for those that might be interested in joining the paparazzi business or those that have been in the paparazzi business for a little or a long time that are struggling with a way to organize their paparazzi orders, their paparazzi pictures, their paparazzi barcodes, etc. So one way I've found to do that is I've created an individual space on my computer up here to the right hand corner where it says paparazzi orders. So what I'm going to do today is I'm going to transfer this information, this order number, and all of the names, barcodes, and pictures um, to my paparazzi orders folder. So I'm able to then upload the information or I'm, whatever platform that I choose, whether it be Facebook, Instagram, Pinterest, however you use to advertise your business, that you're able to do that um, quickly because everything is all in one spot. Um, and I only have to download things one time. I don't have to do it multiple times. If I'm doing it on my phone, sometimes I have to do it on my phone. It just gets too chaotic and it's a little, it's a little daunting for me to do that. So I literally download everything onto my desktop and then I'm able to pull from there. I'm also able to search for products there because again, Paparazzi comes out with new releases five days a week except for holidays. So there's such a vast array of um, fabulous accessories that people can choose from but sometimes if you go up to search products some of these some of these won't be there anymore because they sold out so again I need a place where all this information is because it's not always going to be on the website unless it might be a blockbuster piece which is a piece that we usually have all the time um, barring supply and demand or whatnot but usually I mean one of a kind hearted it might still be on the website I don't know um, so what I like to do is take all this information and put it to where I have it saved and where I know it is that I can reference it at any point in time. If you're not new to paparazzi and you haven't done it this way, you can always go back and do it this way because everything is all saved in your back office. You just go to profile, order history, and you can pull up whatever one you want to then download the files. So again, the way I started to do this, and it's worked out really, really well for me, is I created my paparazzi orders folder. If you don't know how to create a folder, super easy to do. You would just take anywhere on your desktop um, blank space, so it could just not hovering over anything else. You're going to right click, and you're going to find new. Then you're going to come over to folder, and then now you have a new folder. So I can name this whatever I want. You can name it, I don't know, hello. Let's do hello. Why not? Um, so now this is the new, I'm click out of it, click away from it. Now this is the new name of my new folder. Okay. It shows me when I created it and then it's empty since obviously that was just for showing purposes. Let's get rid of that. So I'm just going to right click and get rid of it. So let's just do delete. So once I order my pop rice order, you're going to see a lot of orders here that I've organized by order number and the date of order. So again, if I just know the order number, I can pull it by order number. If I just know about the time that I ordered it, it's right here. Since everything prior to a few weeks ago, a paparazzi, when you would download all this information, it would give you the title or the name of the piece that I can search by piece name on here. All I have to do is here and I can search whatever it is. I don't know. Let's do... Basic groundwork. It's one of my favorite pieces. Okay. So literally basic groundwork is right here. So I've got basic groundwork. Again, this is the barcode number to it. I added that and I'll show you there's a little bit different the way paparazzi has you download it now. So that's why I wanted to do this video because it looks different to even those consultants that have been consultants a while. So again, since I'm in that big paparazzi orders folder, I can search anything by name and I've got different items that start with basic if I can't find it okay so here it is right here basic groundwork okay if I hover over it you'll see where it says path four it shows you where it is it says all the way to the right hand side here if I move my cursor off you'll be able to see it but over here it's on my computer it's under my login it's on my desktop it's on paparazzi orders and it's under that order number so I know I've had this piece if I still have it I've had it since January. I ordered it January 18th. So again, I can find pieces or know what pieces that I've had and when I purchased them. So I know whether they can be considered maybe vintage pieces or pieces that I maybe just want to move for more inventory that I can get in later. So 
again, things that are hanging around a while I want to get rid of or sell, not rid of, sorry. I want to sell. So I want to make myself successful. So I want to figure out a way to sell that piece or maybe on my next live, pull that piece out, get rid of that piece, sell that piece to somebody who's going to love it. So the same way I created a folder outside is the same way I would create a folder inside. So I'm literally going to right click, go on to new. I want new folder. And again, the way I organize these is order number and date of purchase. Well, here's my order number and my date of purchase. So I'm going to click on it again to highlight it. Well, it's already highlighted. Sorry. Click on it again at the bottom here, and it's going to let me rename it. I'm going to rename it the order number, which is 1010-8643. I'm going to put a space, and then I'm just going to write May 21st, 2019, because my computer won't let me save it with any dashes or anything else in between. So, but that's still a way for me to find it. So <clears throat> click out of that. Now I have an empty folder ready for all these to be put in there. So the next thing I'm going to do is come over here to my orders page. I'm going to scroll all the way down here. And then you're going to see zip images down here at the bottom. I'm going to click on zip images. So this actually looks a little bit different if you're a consultant because we used to only see these pictures here, but now you'll notice they've got these thumbnails, of everything that you'll be downloaded. If you click all these boxes, if you just want certain things, it's only going to give you the featured images. You see here, it's only going to download these featured images here. If you want additional images, it's going to give you different points of view. If you don't want complete looks, complete looks are more for if you've got maybe something that, um, Maybe they have a bracelet and a necklace combo that's, that's a perfect pair, or they have, um, you know, earrings that match a necklace specifically. And I'll show you those in here as well. So I always keep them all because, again, I don't have to go back and do this again at any point in time if I change my mind. So I'm just going to download everything at the same time. So zip images, I've got everything clicked. I'm going to get all these beautiful pictures. That's one thing I love about paparazzi is I don't have to recreate any of this stuff. Paparazzi provides this to every single consultant. So again, I'm going to click on zip images. Oops, sorry, zip images. There we go. Now it's kind of compiling everything. Now zip images, a zip file is basically a really full file. And I basically want to take this really full file and I want to take everything out of it. I'm going to download everything now that it's prepared. You can see it pops up here at my bottom. I'm going to double click. And now you can see on here, this is all of those files. So this is every single picture in here that I see as a thumbnail is coded like this. Those that have been in paparazzi know that these used to come with names. It looks like within the last week or two, I've noticed that they're not coming with names or actually coming with barcodes. So maybe that's a sign. Maybe we're switching a little bit. I don't know. I already used the barcodes. So that's going to be even more helpful for me. Again, I'll show you how I use my barcode and how I use my inventory system, how I do my lives, all of that um, in a later YouTube video. But I wanted to show you right now that all of these are now listed as barcode. Okay, they're not listed as the names, but super simple to change and super quick to change. So <clears throat> I'm just going to hit my download here. And then I can see my zip file, literally a zip file. <laughs> That's what we downloaded, right? The great thing paparazzi's done recently too is they've made the zip file the same order number. This used to have a random, I mean, it probably made sense to them, but it didn't make sense to me. I had to find it on my computer all the time and it was kind of frustrating. So again, paparazzi's changing things to make things a lot more user-friendly to their consultants. So that's totally awesome. So down here, a zip file, I'm literally gonna open the zip file. So I'm gonna right click on the zip file Again, that was in my downloads tab. And I want to extract everything. I want to take everything out of that zip file. I want to unzip it and take everything out. So I'm going to extract it all. And now it says select a destination and extract files. I want to put all this stuff in the file that I want, the file that I've already created, that folder that I made for May 21st. So my computer kind of knows kind of everything I kind of access. It's got kind of quick reference points here. So I'm going to go here to paparazzi orders. This is everything that's in this folder right here. Okay, scroll down. Again, I'm going to find May 21st. It's probably near the bottom because the order number is higher. Again, these all go in sequential order. 
So I'm going to put it right here. You know where it's all going to go. It's going to go in this order number. Again, it matches up to this order number here. And I'm going to select this folder. Now it's got a way to go. C is my computer user. That's me, Jen K, or Jen Ka. It's going to be on my desktop. It's going to go to my paparazzi orders folder. And within that folder, that's where it's going to be. Okay. So that's where I'm just going to put extract. So all these beautiful pictures, all 52 items are now going to be placed just in that specific folder. It'll pop up here in just a moment. You can see all of these beautiful items. So the great part is now we have all the featured items. So all these top four here, these first four, and it goes in sequential order from what you've ordered, which is nice too. It keeps it all in order. So it's literally, it'll go down this way. It's literally going to go across like this, just like you're reading a book. Okay. So again, you can see that now we have barcode numbers, not names anymore. How do I fix that? Because now I'm used to searching for names. And what if I don't have the barcode? And again, it doesn't have color. So how am I going to search for this? So my easiest thing I do is since it's, I'm going to highlight it, it makes it a darker blue. I'm going to click on it again. And then I can rename this. But I use the barcode. So I'm going to leave the barcode there. I'm going to click on the right hand side so you can see where my cursor is on the right hand side of all of it. I'm going to make a space. And this one, I can look right here, is called one of a kind. Okay. One of a kind. And if I want to, I can put purple. So now I've got one of a kind purple. Okay. Click anywhere else. That's now the name saved in my computer is the barcode and the title of this item. I will show you how that is super awesome when I do my next tutorial video on how I upload things to my Square inventory. So this is super awesome, super easy. Do I have to type it on each four of these? You can, but again, I wanna be efficient with my time. I wanna do it quickly, I wanna do it efficiently. I can find this one, and then I know it's barcode, so I can look for the others if I want to. I don't need to though. So again, I'm gonna come all the way over here to the next one. This looks like it's gonna be aquatic adventure. Again, they kind of line up. I'm gonna highlight it, select it, Put my cursor all the way at the end. You can see where it's flashing. I usually just do a space bar. And then I'm going to do aquatic adventure. So now it's going to be saved as aquatic adventure in my computer. Again, do I need to save this one and this one as that? I don't need to, no. Again, let's just do one more just for a good practice. I'm going to highlight this. <clears throat> Again, it's blue, so now I can change the name. If you start typing in it, it will change the name. So I just be careful where your cursor is. Hit spacebar, and this looks like it's wandering waves. Okay. Wandering waves. Oops. Okay. And if I want to put silver, I can. Keep it simple. But again, wandering waves, I can pull it up either way. Let's just do one more just for good measure. We've got simmering shimmer. So let's click on here, highlight it here. Simmering shimmer. This is gold. Again, just another way to just keep myself organized, okay? And that's how I would do them for every single one of these here. I usually just do the white picture, just the featured picture. Um, again, because I can find it other ways. Now that I know its barcode is that, I know at least its name is that, I can find it other ways. So a really cool part about this, let me go back to my paparazzi orders. So I would do that for everyone, okay? I go back to my paparazzi orders and I'm like, oh my gosh, let's see. this wasn't here, okay? We don't know what order number we're talking about. Since I'm in my big envelope or big folder of paparazzi orders, and I'm like, oh my gosh, what was that called? Something adventure, adventure. I can't remember. I don't remember. So I'm going to type in adventure. In my paparazzi orders, oops, I'm out of here, hold on. I'm going to type in adventure. And it's got to pop up. Aquatic adventure. If I had anything else that had adventure in the name, it would also pop up here. So again, there it is. 
So again, I have my inventory marker, my SKU number, my barcode number. I also have the name of the item. And if I hover over it with my mouse, you can see that it's in my desktop, paparazzi orders. I ordered it on May 21st and not the order number. So again, if I'm looking back like, oh, when did I order that? Or how long has that been in there? I have so much information by saving it that way that I can look it up by barcode. I can look it up by name. I can look it up by order number. I can look it up by the date that I ordered it. Again, it's all saved within itself. So I hope that helps. I hope that makes it fun for everybody and an easy way to look things up. So again, a few changes that Paparazzi's made when we're downloading these now, when we unload the zip files, they're actually as the barcode, not the name. So you might want to, I would highly suggest you change at least one of the pictures to the name so you can find it. Again, I leave the barcode because I use the barcode and I will show you in future videos on how I do that. If you have any questions, please feel free to email me. You can see my email address is right here. If I kind of close all these out for you, sorry. Um, it's just shoptheshiplap at gmail.com. Feel free to um, comment below on the, um, the YouTube video. If you have any questions, I'll feel free to walk you through that. Or if you like and subscribe to my channel, that way anytime I upload um, the barcode information or the inventory piece, that way you'll get notifications of new material. So thank you so much for watching my tutorial. If you have any questions, please reach out to me. Again, my name is Jen Campbell. I'm the owner of Shop the Ship Lab Paparazzi at the email address shoptheshiplab at gmail.com. And my consultant ID number is 237-631. Thank you.